Imagine if you're in a spaceship looking down at the Earth. You notice that it spins on its axis once every 24 hours. But if you look more closely, you would observe some subtleties. Not only is it spinning, but the axis of its spin is slowly precessing over time. Something you may have heard about before. But as it's doing this, this axis is also wobbling a little bit. So it's turning and it's wobbling as it's precessing. So it looks like a spinning top in that sense. And if you look at the North Pole itself, you'd also see a more subtle effect where the point at, around which the Earth turns isn't quite fixed to the Earth. So the Earth is kind of wobbling in its axis as well. And these wobbles are something that we'll discuss in this video, what, what's causing them and how much is the effect. And is it something that people worry about? Is it something that technology nowadays has to account for that? Well, it turns out it does. The first type of motion we want to explain is called precession. And precession is called, caused by external forces on the Earth, mainly by the Sun. If we take red as the direction of the Sun's gravity, we see that it's pulling on the Earth at all places. Now, not only is the Earth rotating, it's also tilted with regard to the direction of the Sun. And it's tilted, and we also have a bulge on the Earth. And th what the bulge does is that the gravity can tug a little bit harder on the side closer to the Sun than on the side further away from the Sun. So this force is a little smaller than this one. And what that does, the gravity will try to pull the Earth kind of perpendicular to its direction, this way. Now, we know that that hasn't happened because the Earth is spinning like a gyroscope. And if you try to push a gyroscope uh, push its axis away from its direction, it will start to precess, right? So if we get a, a top, spin it, and then we push on it, we see that it'll precess, and in this case it's wobbling as well. So that's what causes this precession, where if you were to project the, the North Pole against the sky, you would see a big motion every 26,000 years it does this kind of loop. Now it's so it's still tilted regard to the Sun it's just precessing like a top. Now it turns out this motion is not perfectly smooth there's also kind of a wobble associated with it. The main wobble the main one is about every 18 and a half years. So what is that what causes that? Well, Earth is affected by the gravity fields of the Moon, the Sun, and, and the planets as well. So if we were to say the Moon uh, is, let's say, in this direction, and it's pulling on the Earth, like the Sun, but not as strongly, it is also playing the same effect where it would like the Earth to be perpendicular to the direction of the Moon, this way. And, be, and that's caused by the bulge, right? But because Earth is spinning, it will precess as well. So you can superimpose the effect from the Sun, and superimpose the effect of the Moon, and you can do the same for Mars and Venus and the other planets, and you get this kind of fine wobbly motion that happens as the Earth precesses every 26,000 years. There's a finer motion superimposed on it. Now, the main 26,000 year cycle was known even to the ancient Greeks, to Hipparchus, the ancient astronomer. But the finer motion is much harder to, to measure. And that was uh, discovered by accident um, by the British astronomer J James Bradley in 1728. 
What would precession and nutation look like if you could hover over the North Pole? Hover in a way that's not tied to the Earth, that's kind of floating in inertial space. Well, we can model this in the software application called SDK, where these kind of Earth motions are baked right into its modeling engine. And we're going to fast forward a hundred years of precession and nutation and look at what happens. Here we see the axis of rotation moving through inertial space and drawing out this line of its history. You can see the waves, that's the notation. And after 100 years, we're out to 60 kilometers. So that's about 600 meters per year. And if you're a satellite taking images on the ground, that's certainly something you would have to account for. The second type of motion we want to explain is called polar motion. And polar motion is a wobble that occurs when the axis of rotation does not intersect the Earth at the same place all the time. There's a kind of a wobble that happens like this as the Earth is spinning. And so this is a more subtle effect. It was discovered in the late 1800s and it had at first the appearance as if observers latitude was changing. But, but unlike precession which is caused by external forces, gravity mainly, um, polar motion is caused by geophysical phenomena within the Earth. So you have a redistribution of mass caused by the inside of the Earth moving, or in, caused by weather and glaciers perhaps on the surface, and so the Earth isn't quite as rigid as, as we think. It, it, it is wobbly even on the inside. So in that sense, it resembles an egg. Of course, it's greatly exaggerated, but when you spin an egg, you see that what happens, what's going on on the inside is affecting the rotation on the outside. So how does polar motion look like if we were to hover over the North Pole? Well, let's bring out STK again. And this time, let's hover fixed to the axis of rotation. That is the blue vertical arrow and see what the green arrow is doing. The green arrow is the defined North Pole and see what relative motion exists between the two. We're looking at about 14 years worth of polar motion. Each circle you see in green is a little over a year. And so the total distance between uh, the North Pole and the axis of rotation is about 10 to 20 meters every year. So let's superimpose polar motion on top of precession and nutation. And once again, we're hovering back in inertial space, just looking down at the Earth. And we can already see that over just a few days already, uh, the axis of rotation, the blue line, is creating kind of a, a blue uh, history. And, and this is not even nutation yet, which is an 18-year cycle. This is a very fine scale motion and we see the green arrow whipping around the blue one. It's the, uh, the North Pole is offset from the uh, axis of rotation. And we're not even seeing, seeing a lot of polar motion yet because that takes about a year to happen and we're only looking at a few days here. But if you, you can see, if you combine everything together, it's quite a complicated motion that occurs. So now we'll demonstrate how the Earth and a top are related. They're quite similar. So I have a, a coaster, furniture coaster with a pencil through it, and we're going to spin this at high speed and see if we can get some kind of pattern on the piece of paper. There we go. And let's see what we get. Well, well, well. Looking very familiar. Circles within circles within circles. <laughs>